Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 921. If you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to see how to count F cells containing only particular characters. So our criteria is going to be thigh, but we need it to build a formula here that will count if it says right thigh, thigh, if the word thigh is repeated, or even if it's thigh and there's some text after. Now we can use the count if function. The count if function is great because it counts only if some condition is met. You give it the range, that's all the things you're potentially going to count, and your criteria. Now right now this is exact. It'll count only exactly when it finds thigh. So there should be just one. Now we can amend this criteria. And what we want to do is we want to tell it find the word thigh with potentially anything before or after. And the way you do that is with wild cards. Now, asterisk is a wild card that means one or more characters. And you have to put it in double quotes. And you have to join it. The join symbol is Shift 7, the ampersand. So now this would be find thigh, the word thigh alone, or if there's any text before it. But we want it before or after, so we have to have two wild cards. Join that thigh criteria to the wild card asterisk in double quotes. And there you go. That is how you can do contain criteria. It means find any text string that contains the word thigh. And there we get it five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now another way we could go is conditional formatting. You could actually highlight all of the cells and apply conditional formatting. Home, conditional formatting, and there are highlight cell rules. These are built in, came in 2007 and 10. In earlier versions, this was not there. Text that contains. Now this text box, anytime you see this um, collapse button, it means you can link the text box to the cell. So I'm simply going to click right there. Oh, that is amazing. Now you're not limited to this. You could do custom down here and do whatever you want. Click OK, click OK. And if you change this to arm, right? the whole reason that we put criteria in cells and then make formulas or link conditional formatting to a cell is so that we can change it and everything updates. Now, whoops, Control-Z. This was a great tip trick for conditional formatting. But if you're in earlier versions or you're building more complicated uh, conditions, multiple conditions for conditional formatting, then you have to switch over to a logical formula. So I'm going to come down here and show you how we do this. Now, a logical formula, it just gives us true or false. In this case, we're going to build a formula that gives us a 1 or a 0, and Excel will interpret one is true, zero is false. I'm going to use that same count if. And instead of giving it the whole range, I'm just going to click on the one cell. So this is counting only if uh, one cell. So it's either going to give us one or zero, All right? Comma, and then the criteria. And I have to join it to cell C4. And I'm going to lock this with the F4 key because I'm going to copy this formula. And then another wild card. Control enter. And so now it'll give us, that's called, uh, that's just a regular counting formula. But we, uh, Excel will interpret zeros as false and one as true. So now I'm going to copy this from the very top cell. Control C, escape, highlight the range. I'm going to use the keyboard Alt O D to open up conditional formatting. You could go up to that home ribbon also and say new rule. Use formula to determine which cells to format. Here's where we put our formula, Control V. Format, and then you can do whatever formatting you want. All right, now this formula is going to be kept in memory, right, in this dialog box. It's as if it's copied down in the cell. Each cell will get a 1 or a 0 or a true or a false, right? When it sees a 1, it'll apply it. When it sees a 0, no yellow. Click OK, click OK. And so there we go. If we um, change this to arm, boom, everything updates. All right, uh, count if and wildcards, counting 
uh, with a contain cell contains criteria or conditional formatting. We'll see you next video.